Flux is primarily used to option one remove oxides to increase the strength three polishing of the restoration or four accelerate the burning process. Let us understand where flux is used in dentistry. Now in dentistry when you want to connect two metals you can either do that by welding or soldering. So what is the difference between both of them? Now in welding what happens is you just melt the metal and in their molten form they flow towards each other and bridge the gap or connect to each other. But in soldering what we do is we add a filler metal in between the two metals that have to be connected. So this filler metal or the solder metal it bridges the gap between the two metals. This is a third unit which is helping you connect the two metals. Now let us see soldering more in detail. Now for soldering you need a flux and an anti-flux and a solar material. Basically just imagine the this is your parent metal. Okay, this unit has to be connected to this unit. Now what does the flux do? Flux basically it helps you to dissolve or entrap the oxygen present on your parent material. So whatever oxygen is present in this area where you want your solder to flow, you will apply flux in that area. So whatever uh, oxygen contamination is there, the flux will dissolve that. And it provides a, a, a nice way or a guide for the solder to flow. Moreover, when your solder is melting and if there is any uh, oxygen dissolved in it, the presence of flux will entrap that oxygen as well. So basically there are two types of fluxes mainly the boric flux and the fluoride flux. Boric is mainly used with noble metal alloys. So if maybe these were gold crowns you would have gone in for a boric flux. And the fluoride fluxes are used for base metal alloys. So basically cast uh, cobalt chromium, nickel chromium alloys. So when you are making your cast partial dentures, doing some repair work you would go in for a fluoride flux. Let us see what the anti-flux does. Now, anti-flux is applied on those areas where you don't want your solder to flow. Basically, if you have, a, if this is your occlusal surface and you don't want the connection to come onto the occlusal surface. You just want your solder to flow in between these two crowns. So, you would apply anti-flux on the occlusal surface. So that when the solder is melting, if your hand moves by misting, because this is an uncontrolled procedure. So the application of anti-flux will prevent your solder to flow into the undesirable areas. So it will block this from the solder. And your solder will flow only where you've applied the flux or in areas where the anti-flux is not present. So this is the concept behind flux and anti-flux. Now let us look at the question. They have asked us, flux is primarily used to option one remove oxides. So this is, seems to be the correct answer. But let us see the other options. Uh, increase the strength. Uh, three, polishing of the restoration. This is wrong. And accelerate the burning process. No, the flux does none of this. It just removes the oxide and provides a good area for your solder to flow in. So option one is the correct answer. So they could also ask you different types of fluxes that are present, the application of that and uh, the role of anti-flux by giving you mixed match, uh, mixed match uh, options. So just read the question properly what they've asked. Uh, this is a simple topic but a very important topic, both soldering, welding and the fluxes. Thank you.